everyone today I have organic pharmacy haul to share with you and I'm very sorry I've been absent from uploading video for past few months maybe or few weeks but I've been just busy with works and general errands and things like that and I don't have any particular excuse to share with you so but I bought a few organic pharmacy products and I just wanted to share with you today. And this is quite exciting for me because you can't get organic pharmacy products anymore in Japan and it used to be able to be accessible brands in a big department stores few years back but they decided not to stock anymore because the company itself doesn't produce that much products and many of the times at the department store it was out of stock so they decided to not to sell it in Japan anymore. They offer an international shipping from UK from the main website but their shipping is extortionate and since one of my really good friends from UK was coming over to Japan I just shipped some of the things that I wanted to try to her house and she brought it with her to Japan for me and I finally got the organic pharmacy products that I always wanted to try for the past six months or so so it's very exciting for me and I actually bought a couple of makeup products and they have not only skincare, that's what they're usually famous for but they also have really good makeup range so I'm gonna start off with the makeup products. I picked out three nail polish to try and then I bought a one lipstick to try. I bought three and this one is actually a base coat so I guess you don't classify that as a nail polish and I bought two pink shade because usually on the internet it's quite hard to see the color and it's usually turned out quite differently from how you are expecting it to be. So I was sort of searching for good swatches on Google and things like that. I couldn't find that many nail polish swatches from this Organic Glam company which is the Organic Pharmacy's makeup range's name. So I bought two and currently I'm wearing this uh, really light pink shade which I love so much. I think it's quite shiny. I had a two coats and it's really not transparent at all. It dries fast, it doesn't smell bad and it's really good quality. And I'm gonna rave about these products from now because I love lipstick. I love really high intensity matte lipstick that doesn't cause any trouble on my lips which in fact I've never found any although one of my favorite lipstick from Tom Ford number 15 wild ginger which is sort of orangey really nice red they are really good for me it's amazing color intensity and everything I want in a lipstick is there but if I wear more than seven hours in a day in a row I start getting some sort of white dot. I think that's some sort of allergic reaction to the ingredients inside. Although it doesn't come out properly and then my skin is completely fine. Like it doesn't peel off or it gets really dry, you know, anything. But it's something that I noticed that the loads of white bumps appear on my lip and I makes me sort of worry that it's not really good for my skin. And Many of other lip products that I used in the past which has a really high color intensity Sometimes if I react badly my skin gets really dry and start peeling off as well So that's when I know that I shouldn't use the products But many of the, uh, the many of the products I have now including MAC and sometimes Chanel and Tom Ford They are completely fine apart from the fact these white bumps come out so I kind of got used to the idea now because every time I wear any sort of lip products I have that after the end of the day and it sort of takes about two or three days to completely heal and go back to the normal lip skin and so I always wanted to try something very organic and natural ingredients only products and I think I found the one and I bought the organic glam lipstick in the shade red they don't have any numbers or anything, they have some name and then I got a, like a classic red color and it looks like this and in fact it's quite a deep plummy pinky red. I think it's appropriate for color like something to wear right now and I absolutely love it. One downside though it's about 30 British pounds which is quite expensive anyway and the product itself like contains just 
this much and then it's really thin and light and it doesn't contain a lot of products I would say compared to the high-end products it's probably like one third of the amount and the price is exactly the same a little bit more expensive but I've never experienced any white bump situation I always had. I tried it for two days, two consecutive days and full days from the morning to the evening and I my lip was completely happy at the end of the day. One small thing that I noticed was it drying up a little bit but compared to the problem I used to have before it's almost nothing. And that's it for the makeup and now moving on to the skincare which is what they're really really famous for. The first thing I bought is something that um, was is really popular from their brand and it's the um, face cream antioxidant I think um, this is one of the most best seller and a lot of people rave about this product and the ingredient is amazing and if you are into very natural products which is organic then I think you will really really like this one in fact I haven't tried this one yet because I'm using the different stuff so I will let you know how I get on and it comes with a little spatula like that so I guess it's quite handy this is the cleanser that I think everyone knows this company is famous for this particular cleanser this is carrot butter cleanser and it comes out it comes in a container like this and in fact the container inside is exactly the same look as a face cream and it contains 75 milliliters but I use it like crazy like I actually bought two and then the one of them is in the bathroom I used it for like two weeks now and I really really like the butter cleanser it's very oily thick texture I wouldn't say it's a butter it's sort of like a butter with some little bumps in it but it sort of melts on your hand so like if you know um, coconut oil that solidifies it feels like not so smooth when you're scraping out but like it sort of melts really quickly on your face it's definitely thicker than coconut oil when it once it melts and it smells quite nice and soothing you'd think that the cleansing balm wouldn't make that much difference because it sort of like leaves on your skin for not so long because if you're just washing your face then it's not going to give you any like extra benefit or anything but I actually use it for like massaging my face like if I'm really tired and wanted to be in a bath that's how I like remove my makeup but at the same time give myself a massage maybe like I'll do like 20 minute massage or something so that's the only time I basically use otherwise like when I'm tired and if I wanted to take my makeup off really quickly I just use the um, other type of cleanser which is super quick so I this so basically this is my backup and I'm so glad I bought two because um, lots of people in Japan or like rest of the world really wants to get these products but many of the website quite often gets like out of stock and it's very expensive and um, it's it, very expensive to ship it from the main website and things like that and lastly I wanted to share with you with this discovery slash travel set and it looks like this is basically packed with their best selling sort of their face products as in like their advertising products the carrot butter cleanser and it also comes with the toner and the really famous serum that I always wanted to try and then also has another serum that's in a gel form and also a face cream that I think the same as the face cream I bought but I think it's nice that it's sort of packed in a small container so if you are the kind of person who travel a lot then I think that would be really useful and it looks like this is really really cute the things that I'm really excited from this kit is this oil because I think the full size is about 50 to 75 mil but that's like quite close to 100 British pounds which is really really expensive so to have this in a kit which was 45 pounds for all of this I know it's still very expensive 45 pounds for this but considering the individual price it's a lot cheaper to buy this set to and try everything than the uh, like buying individual piece so that's it for today and this is just a quick organic pharmacy haul and I've been purchasing quite a lot of different stuff which is nothing to do with organic pharmacy so I might do a combined haul for the rest of the stuff and I really hope you enjoyed and I will speak to you soon bye